And the two day siege finally ended when the clown turned the gun on himself. And now, a special report by Wise Man Lofty. We had come to one of the most notorious and war torn lands in the world. We heard just existing in this place was enough to get you killed. But we wanted the real story. So me and my cameraman set out from the green zone and stepped into the thick of it. This was our story, and it would soon become our war. Alright, so good afternoon gents, and, uh, and ladies, I suppose. Um, so today, we're doing a bit of frontline war reporting, um, and the reason I'm telling you this now is because, hopefully, I have my first interview with someone who's just up here. I've just seen one over here because he's just completed this mission and he's just looting the crate so we're just gonna go and see uh, what he's got to say now obviously people are gonna be a little bit hostile no one likes journalists do they so I've had to bring this shield and pistol along so here we go Shit. Uh, hello sir, I was uh, uh, hoping to get a few words for the Cherno Evening News. Have you got anything to say for the news? Hello my friend! Yes, yes. Uh, do you have uh, something to say for the news? Fucking wrecked bro! Hmm. Get fucking wrecked bro. It seems to be the word of the day. Thank you for that comment. Hang on, we've got another one. Hello, sir. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Please don't shoot at the reporters. We're just doing a job. He's hitting the fucking shield there. Shit. <laughs> oh, he tagged me. Oh. Come on, we can do it. Oh. oh shit, no. Blip, blip, blip. Fidel Castro. Damn you, Castro. Only one in interview. <laughs> well, it looks like the communist regime will continue. So we're back. Yet again, more intrepid reporting. Just over here at this mission area. But there is a vehicle. He may have seen me. He may have thought I was a bush. There are shots on the top of that hill though. Maybe a gent on the grassy knoll? <laughs> over here, put me in combat. There he is. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, the paparazzi would like a word. Uh, do you have a few words for the evening news, sir? Anything to say for the evening news? Any comments about your situation here? How does it feel to be killed like that? No? No comment? Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time. <coughs> oh, oh. oh no, it's a sheep, it's a sheep. We're okay. Excuse me, excuse me, sheep, excuse me. <laughs> do you have a few few minutes for the... What do you think about the, the current political crisis <laughs> going on in the world? Bam. <laughs> but surely you must care. It, it affects... It directly affects, affects you. Mm. Bam. Oh, 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 don't be such a fucking... <laughs> Is he getting... Cynical prick prick. <laughs> Is he inside his fucking 
Humvee though, if he's inside Humvee there's not much I can do. He is, he is. This is it. The most intrepid of reporting. All just to find out why something's going on. I don't really know why we're doing this, but... <laughs> There's nothing I can do though until he gets out of his jeep. <laughs> There's no one here, mate. Just go away. No, 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 no. Coming in. What are you going to do? <laughs> See if we can try and bait him to get out. Gonna have to fucking go for it. Oh shit! Oh shit! Get in there! Get in there! Get in! <laughs> uh, hello, sir. Do you have anything to say for the evening news? We're reporting live from Cherno here. Anything to say for the evening news? Nothing to say, sir. We'd really like a few words. Even a prepared statement will do. Oh, he's not happy about that. <laughs> get out quick. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> get back in, get back in. No, this is harassment of the press. What about free speech? Don't you care about free speech? No! That's a poor show, sir. A poor show. So it turns out the people of Chinaris really don't like journalists. Um, not very many people wanted to talk to us, so we decided to charter a helicopter and fly somewhere where we thought might be a bit more amicable to our to our needs. So we went to Tanoa, um, another war-torn island, um, quite isolated from the rest of the world. Um, just in the hopes that the locals would be a bit friendly and would probably be able to give us a bit of a better insight into to what's going on because we couldn't just run with the line, get wrecked bro. Sure there's one just over here now. Yep. He's right there, look. Well, 
Uh, hello there, sir. Uh, it's another evening news. We just wondered if you uh, had any comments. Any comments about not being situationally aware? He wasn't really up for it, and I'm not hanging around. <laughs> oh, man. You'd be so pissed off, wouldn't you? Footsteps. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit, it's AI! It's a fucking rival news crew! The story's mine! Oh fuck! The microphone operator's still left. No! This is my story! <laughs> My scoop. See, it's fucking dangerous being a journalist. Luckily, this guy admins the duck. Whew. Hmm. I reckon they're footsteps. Is that rustling? Oh, there we go. It's fucking right next to me. Ah, uh, it's a little Bambi. I could try and talk to him, but... I'd rather shoot him first, and then talk to him. Less chance of me getting shot. Oh fuck. No! No! They really don't like journalists around here. Oh, oh, we've got one. Just try and get in behind him. There we go. Let's try and sneak our way up. It's a very high risk area. This the missionary is right there. Oh, there's another guy. Let's just fucking go for it. Yeah, I thought he'd see me there. He still doesn't know I'm here. <laughs> Ah, he had no idea. Uh, hello sir, today we're even news here. Do you have anything to say for the news tonight? What's your uh, take on the situation here? Okay, well have a nice evening sir. Oh shit! Ah! I fucking got him though. Uh, thank you for weighing in there Dolly. Do you have anything to say about the ongoing war between the UKPR and Kukas? No, well, thank you both for your time. There is no UKPI, you dumbass. Yeah, not as good as UKPI, I'm afraid, boys. You heard it here first. UKPI are disbanded. No quarter. There he is. <laughs> oh shit, I'm wounded though. Let's see if you have any meds before I try and talk to him. Yay! No! No! Ah, so close to getting a story. Uh, hello there, gents. Uh, we just wondered if you might have a couple of words to say to the evening news, uh, just about the, the current situation here in Tanoa. No. Oh well. Okay, so the head office have called me in. I want to talk about the lack of progress on the story. So I've got all suited and booted.
I mean, I'm hoping. I'm hoping they're going to give me a raise, you know, because I've been working really hard. So, we'll see. Driving through to nu Oh, shit. You can't fucking drive through Tanuka without getting shot. Oh, motherfuckers. They fucked the quad bike and they fucked me up. 17. Oh, shit. Well, looks like head office are gonna have to wait. Let's pull in here. See if I can find some fucking meds. Shit. Fucking nothing. You gotta slow your move when you're wounded. Oh shit, and they're coming looking for me. Oh shit. The documentary was falling apart in front of us. News that the UK PR were now no quarter wasn't really newsworthy, and we couldn't really run with the line, get wrecked bro. Now I was going to be late for the meeting at head office too. Everything looked like it was going to shit. What would happen next? And that was a special report by Wise Man Lofty. Find out next week if he gets brutally murdered. Anyway, that's the news. See you tomorrow. Goodbye!